Welcome to the video where we show you everything you need to know to be a voting judge in a Toastmasters International Speech Contest. Depending on the contest level, the number of voting judges increases and will be as follows. A minimum of five at the club contest level. A minimum of five or there must be an equal number of voting judges from each club in the area. A minimum of seven or there must be an equal number of voting judges from each area in the division. A minimum of seven or an equal number of voting judges from each division in the district. A minimum of nine in the international speech contest. To be a voting judge, tie-breaking judge, or chief judge at a Toastmaster speech contest, you must meet all the eligibility requirements identified below. At a club contest, be a paying member. At an area division or district contest, be a paying member for a minimum of six months, have completed a minimum of six speech projects in the Competent Communicator Manual, or earn certificates of completions in levels one and two of any path in the Toastmasters Pathway Learning Experience. All voting judges must fill in the judge's certification of eligibility and code of ethics. All voting judges are informed of their responsibilities by the chief judge, and they are informed in a separate room from all other members of roles. They will also be given an international speech contest ballot. During the contest, the voting judges must listen to the contest speeches, paying attention to the following. In terms of content, the structure and organization, the effectiveness, and support material. When it comes to delivery, the nonverbal communication, the vocal variety and quality, and assurance and enthusiasm. Finally, for language, one should note the appropriateness for the speaker's purpose and audience, and pronunciation, grammar, and word selection. At the end of each speech, you'll be given one minute to fill in an international speech contest ballot. There is a column that refers to the contestant who has just delivered a speech. The voting judges can protest in terms of the speech's originality or in relation to the contest's eligibility, which, after analyzed, may result in disqualification. The protest can only be presented to the chief judge and or contest chair, up to just before the announcement of the winners of the contest. After all speeches have been delivered, the voting judges fill in the international speech contest ballots and they add up all the points of each speech to find the first, second, and third place in decreasing order of points given to the contestants. After filling it in, they must sign the document and hand it over to the counters. 